This is item number 43 for the spring 2014 test question release for the Tennessee end of course algebra 1. Um, a whale can eat 36 tons of food per year. Man, you ever, nobody wants to get in a food battle with a whale. Man, I could eat a ton. 36 a year for me. Jerk. Um, which is the closest to the average number of kilograms of food a whale can eat per day? So I need to make a multi-leveled conversion here. This is kind of a longer one. The key issue that you need to worry about is to set up the original um, relationship and then try to eliminate one unit at a time. And by that I mean, for instance, let's use numbers. So if I had 3 times 8 divided by 3, well, I could do 3 times 8 is 24 divided by 3 and it gets me to 8. But I could also see that 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So really they cancel. I've made this argument before. So basically, if you have something on the top of a fraction and on the bottom, numerator and denominator, you can just eliminate them. So we're going to try to create a situation where if inches are on top here and I want to eliminate it, I'm going to make sure that my inches idea is down here. For a conversion, unlike a proportion, we're not setting anything equal to anything. We're not saying that they're necessarily the same. We need to figure out what the conversion is, move one to the other, so we're going to use multiply. My original setup uh, a whale can eat 36 tons of food per year, so I need to do 36 T in one year. Now, I need to know uh, how I convert it from tons and then how I convert years to days. So it's a double flip here. I need to go to kilograms and per day. The first thing I'm going to deal with is the tons. It doesn't really matter. As long as you put the conversions in the right place, it's irrelevant. But I'm going to go with either one ton is 2,000 pounds or 2,000 pounds is one ton. And if I'm trying to get rid of ton on top, I want to put ton on the bottom. So I'm going to choose the second one of these. 2,000 goes up here. Now if I hadn't written this so badly, it didn't make a point. So now that I have one on the bottom and the top, that kind of goes away. So what I'm left with is pounds. So in fact, as I do this, I'll just erase them. Do you have to erase them on your paper? No. As long as you have it set up, I'm just trying to show you where all that comes from. So there's that. And then I'm still not into kilograms, which is what I need it to be in. So I'm going to use this setup of one pound is 0.45 kilograms or 0.45 kilograms is one pound. And since pounds are on top, I'm going to use the second one again, 0 0.45 kilograms. So there's that. And now that I have one on the top and one on the bottom, I'm going to eliminate pounds. So now I'm in kilograms. The, the structure of the problem shows kilograms as my unit of uh, you know, mass measurement. Now I need to deal with this one year issue. It's still hanging over my head. Unfortunately, they don't give it to you, but you should know at this point it's 365 and one fourth days, but we'll just use 365. We'll be very generic. We'll pretend it's three quarters of the time. So one year over 365 days, or I don't know why I wrote it so close. 365 days, one year. So Years on the bottom, I need it to be on top, so I'm going to choose this one. Times one year is 365 days. And since I have one on the top and one on the bottom, they cancel out. What I'm left with is something that's in kilograms per day, which is exactly what I wanted it to be in. There's a couple ways that you could do this. You could uh, multiply all the numerators together and put it on top and then multiply the denominators together and put them on the bottom which should just be 365 because times 1 times 1 times 1 what else are you going to do um, and then reduce it or you can set it up all as big fractions and that just sort of depends on your personal preference and obviously your, it's your life I don't care what you choose so I'm going to put them all in as fractions just so you can see it so alpha y equals as a fraction the first one is 36 over 1 times, I'm also doing this because it's the one that takes longer, so you should at least see that it's possible. The other one's a little bit easier. I'll probably do that one too. 
but you can jump out of this video whenever you want. I'm not your life coach. I'm just here to help if you need it. So 0.45. I always like a fraction with a decimal in it. I don't know why. It just seems wrong in like a fun way. Times. That's a really nerdy. That may be the nerdiest statement that's ever been said. And I'm okay with that. Hit enter. And I get 88.76. So I'll put that on top because it's not as a fraction. So 88.8. I guess I could do it. Or I'll just round it to the nearest whole number and say 89 kilograms per day there you go there's the, the general setup of how that works so the answer is A now what's the other way to do it well 36 which you can't see anymore times 2000 times 0.45 that's your numerator so you might write that down and then you're just going to divide it by 365 and get the same answer 89 so that's it set your original ratio up whatever they tell you to do if it says something per something put the unit on in front of the PER version of per not the cat version um, on top and put the unit for the, uh, the after it on the bottom and then just use conversion factors in a way that cancels out the ones that you don't need by putting them opposite of what they would be in the one previous and it should be fine it's a little bit more difficult it takes a little bit more time but if you do them those are the questions that get you to you know maybe advanced and in many cases it's not that hard so you can make uh, a much better score in the proficient range or even get up to proficient just by getting this question right when a lot of people would just kind of be like meh whatever but it's not one that you should really skip because it doesn't take that long and you know writing it out is a little bit time consuming but it can also be a little bit get your head back in the game so there you go